The development at Elmsbrook is really quite special because it's been built and designed to be very sustainable. Uh, a key feature of it is that it's true zero carbon. It also has uh, measures to reduce water use and ambitious targets around modal shift. But more importantly, it's also about the community that's here and enable them to live in sustainable ways and actually in the long term to be able to manage the assets that are here and uh, create the community that they want to have and to live in. So the building we've got here is concrete frame and in between that is timber infill and the insulation we use is recycled newspaper and outside that is the air tightness line. So I've come here today because I am here to gain some exposure and get some insights in on the construction industry as I'm a new starter and just to tie it in with what we do as a team with innovations and uh, retrofit and social housing. You can live beside your office block you can walk your children to the school at the end. It all helps, A, in the quality of life, but it also reduces people's need to commute. So putting this type of office facility in the heart of the town was seen as a good thing. It's been so good to see all these different building solutions. I think the one thing that's come home to me today is that we've got the ability, we can do this, we can get down to zero carbon, but we have to have a planning, planning policy in place which will force us to do that. The first world needs to be probably at zero carbon by 2035 and the whole world by, by 2050. But whichever way you look at it, we're on a, a trajectory to a low carbon economy and I think that's really exciting. It opens up all sorts of opportunities. This is where um, lawyers, accountants, marketing experts, the banks, they'll come in, we'll provide them with a desk, we'll provide them with tea and coffee for the day and all we ask is that you'll provide 30 minutes of advice. I think the Eco Centre is a great, a great place, a great venue to actually meet other people, hear how new technologies are being applied to address climate change and regional development. Um, it's particularly good to hear people linking in and making connections between skills training um, and actually applying the new technologies instead of those things being separated. It's actually got quite complex over the last sort of 20 or so years. Previously, we just wanted it to stand up and keep the wind and the rain off. Uh, but now we're asking far more. We say we want it to keep us warm in the winter and use less energy. We want to keep us cool in the summer. Uh, we've got acoustic issues. We've got fire issues. Uh, we want to make sure that we can deal with all that and not create other problems, such as moisture getting trapped in the building fabric, degrading the fabric. We're concerned about our health, off-gassing, blah, blah, blah. So highly complex stuff um, that can't be addressed often with just uh, single solutions. Yeah, I found the day very interesting. I, I think there was a lot of opportunities to uh, network with uh, other people and uh, find benefits from that uh, experience. Um, and I've come away with um, some uh, useful contacts that uh, I can take forward uh, into the job later on. We're particularly interested in this thing here called eco-controls and by that what we mean is we mean control of heating, ventilation, hot water and cooling in residential and small commercial buildings. So we see that buildings have a disproportionate influence on a company's success and our initial approach is, is to look at a workplace and think about how can that workplace be um, optimised in terms of indoor environmental quality to allow workers to perform at their peak. We've had a fantastic event as part of Oxfordshire Green Tech today at the Eco Business Centre on the Northwest Vista site. It is one of the greenest office spaces in the county and indeed the country and so we're really proud to have held it here today. We've had a range of speakers, um, people from all different sectors, um, particularly people speaking about uh, monitoring buildings, how to uh, monitor their progress, how to improve their performance, but we've also had people speaking about a fabric first approach, how to best make a building so that you don't need to heat it a lot, you don't need to generate a lot of energy for it. So we've had an amazing amount of learning happening, tours of the entire Elmsbrook site and we want to continue this more into the future.